So let's look at running through a range of numbers. This is something that's pretty common in for loops. Um, you can see here that I've got my for loop set up. Again, for just says I'm gonna loop through something. Uh, each is the name of the variable I'm gonna use. In is what I'm looking in, where I'm determining my loop. And in this case, I'm gonna use the range function. So range simply lets me put some values in here. And you can see right now I've got three values. The first value is the first number in my range. The second value is the last number in my range. And the third number is the number that I'm counting. In other words, am I counting by ones? Am I counting by twos? Now, a couple of things to remember about range. When you use all three variables, remember that typically when we're doing things in Python, when we give numbers, we're going to not through. What I mean by that is to 11, not through 11, meaning it's going to count 1 to 10. It's going to get to 11, but not go through 11. So you can see when we run this, it's going to go 1 through 10. Nice and easy. Now, there's a couple of things we could do here. First of all, we don't need all of that. If we just wanted to count to 10, we could just say range 10 or range 11 or range whatever we want to count to. So you can see 2 not through gives us 0 through 10. Now look at the difference. Because I did a range of just this one number, just 11, it did go 2, not through 11, but it started at 0 this time. So that's something to be very, very aware of. If you don't give it a start number, it's always going to start at 0. Programmers always start at 0 unless you say otherwise. So had I wanted this to be 10 values, I could have said through nine and run it. And you can see zero through, oops, sorry, through 10 to 10. Missing my own hint here. I could say to 10, and I would in fact get 10 values. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, because it starts at zero. If I wanted to make sure that I was counting with a one and I wanted 10 values, then I'd have to use that second piece, right? And say, 1 through 11, 1 to 11 gives us 1 to 10. And if I wanted to count by twos, for instance, I could just put a two there, and you can see now it's going to go 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Right? Why didn't it count even numbers? Well, because we started at 1. If we wanted to count those, then we would have had to have made a little bit of a change here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Make sense? So that's a range. Like I said, most people, when they're doing ranges, um, in these basic ones, a lot of times they're just deciding how many times their loop is going to run. Um, but uh, those, those extra commands are there for you if you need to very specifically determine what your range is going to be.